Hello everyone, I am Santosh. Today we are going to discuss the next part of C program that is structure of C program. Means to write a C program, we need to know its structure. Okay, let us understand. The structure of a C program typically follows a sequential order of statements. Means you can you are writing the program line by line sequentially okay with the program starting at the main function and proceeding line by line until it reaches the end of the function means the program starts with the main function and it continues till the end of the function and c is a structured programming language hence we need to learn its structure simple okay it follows its own structure that's why we need to learn the structure and as we know different programming languages have their own way of coding and even the C program has its own way of writing the code and the basic components of C program are it includes the main function and there are brace, braces to follow means brackets and there are declarations we are doing and the statements which indicates the operations what you are performing and some user defined functions if required you can use them okay let us see the actual basic structure of C program okay every C program starts with the preprocessor statements and if needed we are declaring the variables globally and every C program has the main function and after the main function we have the brace means bracket which indicates the start of the main function and whenever uh, you want to perform any operation or any problem you want to solve we need to declare the variables that is the declaration part and the statements indicates the actual operations which you are doing in the program and the main function is ended by using the closing brace and if you need to write the extra code uh, to perform the specific task then you can use user defined function for example you can see one of the code I have written, one of the program which has the preprocessor statement at the top which includes the header file stdio.h and all the preprocessor directives or statements start with hash symbol and next I have not declared any global declarations variables directly I have gone with the main function and in main function what I have written is just I wanted to print the text welcome on the screen that's why I am using the function called printf printf means print function I am not using any declarations also I am using only one function that is printf function and I want to print a text on the screen that is welcome okay you can see the output it prints the text welcome on the screen here the preprocessor statement is hash include stdio.h what is stdio.h stdio.h means it is the standard input output header file which is included in the program to help the program to execute input output statements output statement I am using that is printf function which prints the output on the screen okay understood let us learn the structure of a C program line by line what is preprocessor statement these statements begin with hash symbol its job is to include the header files and some of these 
symbolic constants into the program. For example, hash include stdio.h indicates it will help the input output function to execute. And if you want to execute the math functions, you should use hash include math.h. Okay, this is the preprocessor statement. And the next statement or the next part of the program is global declaration. Variables declared before the main function are called as global variables and the existence of these variables is known in the main function as well as in other functions also okay we'll see the one example then you can easily you can get it okay that is the global declarations part and the next part is main function this is the main function of every c program and the execution of c program starts with the main function and the main fu function should be written in lowercase letters means in small letters and should not be terminated by semicolon this you should remember every program has a main function from main function only the execution of the c program will start and the next part is uh, we have the opening brace or you can say the curly bracket what it indicates every c program uses a pair of curly braces the left brace indicates beginning of the main function and the right brace indicates the end of the main function within this only you are writing the actual code the braces can also be used in other functions also okay these are the very important part of the program and the next part is local declarations the declaration is a part of the c program where all the variables and other functions used in the program are declared see whenever you want to perform any operation you must declare the variables which you are going to use in the program then you can perform the operations on those variables okay and the next part of the structure is some of the statements these are the actual instructions you are going to write to perform the particular task okay you can if you want to add two numbers you can declare the two numbers at the top as variables and you can perform the operation of addition by using the statements and the next part of the structure is user defined function these are the sub programs which are used to perform a specific task it is optional to use the user defined function let us see one of the example to understand the structure of the c program that is c program to add two integer numbers i am taking two constants and directly i want to add them let us see the program the first line uh, is hash include stdio.h means i want to include include the stdio.h header file in my program which help the input output function to execute okay it is like the library and as i said every program has a main function that's why i am using the main function and functions are written uh, whenever you give the name of the function you should use the double brackets okay then the main function follows the opening brace opening brace indicates the start of the main function see here i want to add 
two numbers that's why i am declaring the two numbers a and b as integers that's why i have written int a comma b and i want to store the result in c and c is also is of type integer that's why i have declared three variables this is the declaration part of the structure okay whenever you want to use the variables in the program you must declare them before using them in the program okay and i am putting the value 50 in a and the value 30 in b these are the statements i am using and i want to add two numbers a and b and the instructions can be written as c is equal to a plus b simple and the result is stored in c and now now i want to print the result c on the screen whenever you want to print anything on the screen you are using the output function which is supported by stdio.h that is printf function i am using printf and i want to print the text edition and and where the addition is stored it is stored in c but c is of integer type that's why we are using percentage d percentage d specifies the type integer okay you can see the output and the, as as i said the main function is closed by the closing brace this is the program which prints addition of two integer numbers on the screen you can see the output that is addition is equal to 80 got it understood if any questions you can ask in the comments thank you